Ladies and gentlemen, the Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A. Breakdown and Prediction Segment Number 21. We'll begin shortly. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ooh, hit maker, baby. Uh, hit that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up. It is Ready Ready Talk Boxing, and this is the Breakdown Prediction segment. We're covering Miguel Burchette taking on his final penciled in third attempt opponent, Maxwell Awuku, fighting out of Ghana. You know, he is the third Ghanaian to have a title shot. In the early month of February, you had Isaac Dabo, Oloduro, and now. Uh, Oh, Awuku, you know, Emmanuel Tago was the champion, so he didn't ha- he didn't get the title shot. He was defending it. So four title, four Ghanaians in title bouts, three of them getting a title shot. Now, this will be for uh, Miguel Burchette's WBC World Super Featherweight title. Uh, Maxwell comes in with a 44 victories, three losses. 30 KOs, folks. 65% power versus the 85 knockout power in Michael Burchette. 32 and 1 with 28 KOs. Orthodox taking on the Ghanaian in Southpaw. Maybe it might cause some trouble. Uh, you know, Maxwell does have the experience on him. 246 rounds to 122. Can't find Maxwell's age. Could be worrisome against the 26 year old Burchette. 5'7", 71 inch reach of Burchette, 5'8 and a half for Maxwell, no reach. Now, Burchette is all around, uh, he does in and out fighting good, he, he has a good jab, he could do it inside, he could use the ring, so his legs, his legs are pretty good, he goes in and out, he could, he could, he could straddle the ropes, buy him some time. Well, Maxwell, to me, he kind of like comes forward, a slight, he could slight turn you, but he's more of a come forward fighter, so I'm favoring if throughout the fight, I think Michelle Burchette, Michelle, Miguel Burchette legs, uh, it's better for him offensively, gets more power in his punches, uh, keep him on the outside with movement, if he needs to avoid trouble. I'm favoring his legs in this to fight. Defensively, I'm favoring Burchette as well. I, I just believe he's more overall better at slipping punches. I think Maxwell has not fought the competition to get him ready for this. Uh, I believe Burchette is going to have a better offense attack. He has a better one too. I think he hits. I think the power will be with Burchette with the better one too I think he has a better body attack while I do I will say that Maxwell he could throw a nice uppercut so can Burchette I just don't see Maxwell having the power because Maxwell's frame he's a skinny guy he looks like he's a, a natural 135 you know, he ain't losing weight to fight at that division. Looks like he makes that weight pretty well as well. Burchette, looks like he, he sheds a couple pounds. He shouldn't be fighting. He should be fighting at 140, maybe maybe a small 147. So he, he's going to be coming in that fight a bigger person. I think his, his punch is going to be too big. Big for uh, Maxwell's frame. If, if Burchette starts digging to that body... It's going to be a wrap. But I think Maxwell's frame is too small. Just too thin. It's, it's, it's all muscle. And I don't think his body is going to be able to take the, the punishment that Burchette could dig, dig into the body. I think his punch is just going to wear Maxwell down. I think eventually he will stop Maxwell. It will be like 11th round. That's if Burchette wants to go for a, a, the finish. Burchette should win this fight quite easily, if not by knockout. That is my prediction on the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show here. Uh, 
Miguel Rochette will retain his WBC Super Featherweight title. Now, where will he go from here? Whew. And who knows? Who knows what this Super Featherweight division is about, man? You got Lomachenko leaving it, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to need a king. But who wants to rule it? Who's going to have the Gahonis to try it? Maybe Brichette. Maybe. But he should have an easy victory over Maxwell Awuku. You know, Awuku say he's going to come here and steal it. We shall see. We shall see tomorrow. Miguel Brichette, uh, United Decision.